Hey, I'm Sir Wade, and today I'm gonna to show you how to bring your multi-app workflow into NVIDIA Omniverse. And it's very likely you'll be using multiple tools to work on different parts of your project depending on your needs. So I'm gonna show you some different ways to work within a 3D scene in multiple applications at once with your changes syncing across tools in real time using USD inside of Omniverse. For this example, I'll be using Unreal, Maya, Photoshop, and Omniverse Create, but you can do this with any supported application and that list is growing. Hopefully you've already become familiar with the Omniverse Launcher. This is where you can install application connectors, the plugins that let Maya and Unreal talk to each other and talk to Omniverse Create, which you should also install from here. And if you plan on using Photoshop or Substance or something that's more file-based than 3D focused, also set up the Omniverse Drive. Last thing, set up your Nucleus. This is the most important piece for live linking your tools, since this is what actually connects everything together in real time to talk across the different apps. I'll start with a free environment from the Unreal Marketplace to make our lives easy. Open the project in Unreal and convert the scene to a USD to get us started. You can start from scratch, but let's just save time for this demo. With the Unreal connector installed, we'll open Unreal and add our server, which is that nucleus. Now any data in our Omniverse Cloud Drive is available directly in Unreal's content browser. For this example, we'll export the current scene as a universal scene description so we can access all of this in other apps. A few quick settings to note, I'm gonna keep the textures at their current settings instead of their potentially larger source files. I don't need any physics data right now, and I'm gonna be connecting to Maya, which on my PC is set as a Y-axis up environment. So I'm gonna let that run for a bit. Now, since we're still looking at the local Unreal project, we should navigate into our Omniverse cloud directories and open the USD we've created. Everything should be pretty much exactly the same, but now we're working directly within the USD file. This is also a great time to enable the live edit within Unreal. Now let's make a connection with another app. Hit create in the Omniverse launcher and let's open that USD file directly in this interface. Since right now both apps will be adjusting the file independently, which will require a file sync later, let's instead link the sessions together. You'll also notice that Create opens this file extremely quickly, faster than most other applications since it is natively USD. But head over to the Layers panel in Create, and you'll see that there's one main authoring layer, which just collapses down. We can set this layer to Live Edit Mode as well with this little cloud. Toggle that on, and you'll see it turn green. But once this is active, both apps will talk to each other and you'll see any changes you make reflected in real time across both of these tools. Again, Create's usually a little bit faster to populate the changes elsewhere, so I usually like to do it there. But one other tip is to go to the rendering tab and hit eco mode just to save on processing power by letting the renderer time out after a while of no changes. But let's go one step further and loop Maya into this system. I'll use Maya 2022, and it's important to check your plugin manager to disable Maya's native USD plugin before attempting anything further. Maya won't let you load the Omniverse connector with that plugin active, so unload that, restart Maya, and then load the Omniverse connector through this plugin manager. You'll get the Omniverse menu, which you can use to connect to the server from, and this shelf of tools. You can export data straight from here, just like we did in Unreal, a great way to export animation data, for example. For now, we'll open the same file, which will take a second to load, but it is pretty quick considering how much data is actually coming in here, one of the perks of using USD files. When it opens up, switch on Live Sync here in Maya, and it will ask you, let's go ahead and fetch the Omniverse copy since that's already being synced, and that will cause a reload of the scene, so quick heads up. At this point, all three of our apps are talking to each other. We can move around independently in each software's viewport, create geometry, model things, really whatever you want to do, and that data will be synced in real time to the other software applications, which is insane when you think about how hard it is sometimes to export 3D data to other tools. We can create some geometry in Maya, model it, and make some changes, slap a texture on it with Create, and see the reflections working in Unreal with the engine run animation moving in the background on those other elements. Everything is seamless. We can also switch rendering modes in Create to make sure everything looks good using the path traced RTX rendering. This lets us preview our scene in super high quality while simultaneously working on the scene in whatever app you choose. We can even drop in assets from the content libraries, whether or not those assets were originally in the Omniverse drive. And there it is in all the viewports. Now, one thing that's usually a huge pain, it's not very common, but Maya deformers. You can't usually get that stuff to Unreal. They don't work with joints or bones, so usually there's no real way of getting that data in without baking down vertices every time you export and spending a lot of time iterating on that. But here we can just pull a tree in from Create, edit it directly in Maya using deformers, which normally aren't compatible, and you'll see those changes reflected in the other tools. Delete it, and we're back to normal. Doing all of that was faster than doing a single export out of Maya and then trying to open it on Unreal in another workflow. So already super fast. You may also want to share camera data between the programs for easier navigation. Just make a camera in whatever window you want and select it as the main camera in each software. Now moving the camera in one spot applies that transformation everywhere else. This makes previewing work even faster if that's even possible because we're already going pretty fast and 
And once again, I find that create is a little bit faster here. It will push those changes to the other apps faster by using create to move the camera. Now I'm not showing it here, but you can absolutely put animation data through create. So you can have an animated camera working in all three of these apps as well. But next let's add Photoshop to the mix. This is the same workflow as Substance Painter or any other app that exports their final results to disk. Since all of these applications are sourcing these files from the Omniverse drive, if you're using the Omniverse drive from the launcher, you can actually just mount that to your disk and bring those files straight into Photoshop or Substance or whatever app, make any changes you want, and then hit save. Some apps will instantly refresh, others you may need to click in the viewer, but this real-time feedback will allow us to see our 2D texture file rendered instantly in 3D with RTX lighting and any simulation or animation data with absolutely zero effort. Super useful for quick iteration. Lastly, it's completely possible to work on individual files and bring them into whatever app without needing all of the data in every program. So if you create a separate layer in Create, we can open that USD within, say, Maya, and any asset you create there will still exist within the project for us to manipulate and assign textures to and so on. So if you would like to work with a more reference-based workflow, you absolutely can. This is also a super easy way to get Unreal data and scenes into Maya and vice versa, since the cross compatibility will easily let you bring the environment, for example, into Animate On, and then you can connect that animation as a USD into Create, put it all together, light it, render it, and have everything in context using RTX rendering, all with the option to never actually deal with exporting the data to and from applications a single time. Once again, I'm Sir Wade, and I hope you've enjoyed this multi-app workflow tutorial and that you'll take advantage of NVIDIA Omniverse as more and more 3D packages jump on board to support this real-time sorcery. Thanks again.